Today I'll give you a high-level walkthrough of the process I use to create an AR Valentine in Adobe Aero, and I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way. Hi, I'm H.C. Dunaway Smith, an interdisciplinary interactive artist based in Portland, Oregon, and today I'll be showing you how I used Adobe Aero to create an AR Valentine. After drawing the illustrations on my iPad, I brought them onto my computer, then created 2D animations with After Effects and 3D elements with Blender. The After Effects animation was then exported as a ping sequence and compressed into a zip file. In Blender, I created 3D elements with my hand-drawn textures, added animations, then exported everything as GLB files. In Aero, I imported the assets, positioned everything, then set up interactivity. To play ping sequences, use the play images behavior. To play 3D animations, use the play animations behavior. The heart butterflies were created and animated in Blender. I wanted the butterflies to swarm around the user, so I attached an orbit behavior, set the subject to camera, which is the user, and then activated infinite. I used an illustration for the image anchor. This means that when a user launches the project, Aero will look for that image before starting the experience. I printed the image on a card, a t-shirt, and I even made some jewelry. Here are a few tips for creating successful image anchors. The software is using the image to orient itself, so overly simplistic images don't give enough directional information. Similarly, too much repetition or symmetry can be confusing. Lastly, use high contrast images with strong silhouettes. I've been using Arrow for about a year, and it's made a huge impact on my work so far. It's fast, intuitive, and you don't need any coding experience. It's an incredibly exciting time in mixed reality. And I would encourage you to really let your imagination run wild. We're inventing new realities after all. So have fun.